everyone, I have decided that I want to share some products with you that I feel undervalued or underappreciated products. And what I realized um, when I was organizing for this video is that four out of the five products I picked are zebra products. So I guess you could say that I think that zebra is a very undervalued or underappreciated Japanese pen brand. The first pen I want to talk about is the Sudati 300. I'm always really excited to talk about this pen because it is my go-to pen for when somebody wants a recommendation for a, an inexpensive pen that feels like an expensive pen. So this pen has a metal body and a very comfortable but subtle grip. It has the Sudati ink inside. Four of the colors come pre-filled with the 0.5 Sudati ink, silver, pink, blue, green, and orange. And then four come with pre-filled with 0.7, purple, blue, red, and black. However, you can mix and match whatever you know size and color you like. So if you really like the light pink one like I do, but you would prefer a Sudati refill in 0.7 blue, you can, um, you know, certainly do that because the tip size, you know, the tip itself is attached to the refill insert. So a lot of people think you can't mix sizes in these pens, but of course you can. So um, this is my pen that just feels really elegant, but has a really low price point. I recommend it over and over again. You know, a lot of people want to buy someone a nice pen, like say the Jetstream Prime, but they just don't have the money to spend on it. Or, you know, some people want to buy themselves a really nice pen. They have meetings that they feel like they don't want a cheapy plastic pen, but they want something a little nicer looking. So I highly recommend the Surati 300. Now, the one other pen that we sell in our store that I feel like falls into this category of like, looks like an expensive metal bodied pen, but is actually inexpensive, is the Zebra Fortia. Now the Zebra Fortia is a capped pen with a more regular standard ballpoint refill. So it's not the Sudati ink. But if you like, a lot of people like the Jimny stick. They love that, that ballpoint ink. And so this is the same type of ink inside of the Zebra Fortia. Now this is again, just like the other one, a total metal bodied pen, but it is a cap type instead of the click type. And I especially like that it has this like really nice looking tea brown. But yeah, I think, you know, there are both really sort of soft cute colors and really more like elegant sophisticated colors in this line and and several of them are good for unisex colors so I highly recommend the Zebra Fortia and again it's an like an expensive feeling and seeming pen but at a low price point another Zebra product that I feel like so much love for <laughs> is the Color Flight the Zebra Color Flight now this one is actually a like sparkling barrel. So if you look closely at these barrels, you're going to see sparkles. One thing I really like too is if you look closely at these, you will see that each one has a uniquely colored um, trim, uh, how do I say? Trim for the lettering. Why is this not focusing? Doesn't want to focus. There we go. And I think that the colors, that you know, they've done a really good job of picking the lettering colors for these. I'm kind of bringing them close so you can see both the lettering and the sparkle. So this Zebra Color Flight is of course a mechanical pencil. It, it always feels really solid and strong. You know, the barrel itself is plastic, but the axe, the, you know, 
tip and I'm blanking on what this is called right here but these are all you know metal accents the eraser is really cool because it twists far so that you don't run out of it immediately and it is of course totally refillable so in some ways it just seems like a very standard 0.5 mechanical pencil but I think it is both pretty and really nice so I give this sort of my like I just feel like it's underrated undervalued it gets looked oh it gets looked over a lot because everyone's really excited about the Del Guard and the Kudu Toga and then my final underrated, underappreciated Zebra product is the Zebra Sparky 2. So I think this highlighter is really great for a lot of reasons. Um, it comes in a lot of different colors, which I really like. I really like that you can see how much ink you have left while you're using it. It lasts a long time, a really long time. And a lot of highlighters have this great dual tip, which I love so much. But this one is especially cool because in addition to your chiseled end, instead of doing the really fine points that's good for underlining, this is just a finer chiseled end. Let me just take both ends off and then you can see how they're both chiseled, but one's fatter and one is narrower. And so it's great for, you know, this side ends up being really great if you're highlighting your writing, this side ends up being great if you're highlighting, how do I say, like really, if you're highlighting print, especially print that's not very big, that's what I mean to say. But it also can easily be used to underline as well. You can get a really fine underline from this. I can show you have a, some random stuff to highlight, but why don't I just do it here? So you can get a lot of different sizes from this one pen. So you can underline holding this way, but I also will underline just with the point and it's even fainter. So I always feel like this highlighter is very versatile and it just ends up being one that I reach for over and over. But I think it gets overlooked a lot in favor of the new, the newer kind of like pastel highlighters. This one is the yellow orange, which I always really like. And the watermelon red I really like. I don't know if we call it red or watermelon red. I think I might call it watermelon red. Because if you call it red, I feel like people ex are expecting something like really red. I'm just gonna kind of swatch some more for you so you can see how pretty these are. And I'll do the orange one right here. Isn't that a great vibrant orange? And then here's the blue green, which is very popular all the time. Um, but yeah, so I, I feel like this highlighter gets overlooked and I think that's too bad. So there are four Zebra products that I feel like are totally underrated, underappreciated. And the last product I picked to talk about in this category is not a Zebra product. It's a Mitsubishi Uni product. This is a dual-ended marker. It's the pure color and it comes in 36 different colors and you can get it in, in a set like this with 36 different colors or you can just pick individually. You know, we also sell them all singly. And so real quick, let me tell you the colors I really like just in case you wanted to just pick out a few. Um, I really like the lighter colors. There's a yellow, where is it? This one. Oh, and actually, I really like this one a lot, even though it's not a lighter color. But these lighter colors, I am totally loving right now. I like this pink too. So I've been using them for coloring. So this is Usu Dai Dai. I'm gonna put the translations, whatever we call it on our store. I'm gonna annotate it. Um, so Usu Dai Dai, we probably call light orange. Seiji Ido. I think this one's just light gray. 
Yamabuki, which we may or may not translate. Yamabuki is like yellow orange. Sango, which we probably translate to coral, even though it's really pretty light. And then Usu pink, light pink. So let me just grab something where I could sort of swatch these for you. Oh yeah, and then this darker one I like is called NG, which I can't remember. I think the translation is really weird. So I'll put it in the video here. Let me kind of zoom in and then I'll just swatch some of these that I, I like a lot for you because it would take so long to swatch all 36 in the video. So, before I forget to tell you, these markers have a fatter end and a really nicely, almost like a brush shaped, but it's not brush, it's, it's, it's you know, more of a stiff marker. But almost like a brush shaped tip here, and I really like this tip a lot. I use it when I'm coloring. So I'll just, in the interest of time, kind of quickly swatch these. This one is the one they call, I think in English we call it coral, sango, which is, you can see it's lighter. It's really, I hope it's showing up. It's really, really pretty in person because it's like light and bright at the same time. Same with this one. Oh my gosh, I love this one. The one they call, I think, light orange. Like they almost in person look kind of neon. Hopefully that's showing up. This one's Yamabuki, one of my favorite. Also, you see Yamabuki in Japanese highlighters a lot. See that color? It looks so much like the yellow orange highlighter I just swatched. Sorry about my fast coloring. I'm not not exactly uh, using up my talent energy right now, am I? <sighs> Um, you, these, you know, are, I mean, they're not like wet, but they are markers. So you do want to use them on a thicker, a thicker paper. Sometimes the coloring books, I know come in real, especially the cheap ones come in like really thin, like recycled paper. It's like horrible. I would never use markers on those. So just a warning, you know, this depends on the type of paper you're using. I've paired them with this uh, this type a lot too like you can get almost the the postcard type so yeah if you or your kids like markers i highly recommend these i'm not trying to show off my skills right now just want to give you some ideas of the colors they have especially the colors that i like Maybe I should get all of the all of the options here. Oh, one I forgot to talk about. I love this one. I think this one's the sky blue. Yeah, Sore I love I love these. I love oh. these lighter colors. Uh, have I said that enough times? <laughs> okay, this one's the light pink. I don't know, I'll just color this. Picking colors when you've got like a big set like this and you wanna just try like five, I think it's so fun to just pick, pick, you know, your, I can't color and talk at the same time. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think it's just fun to pick like five colors that you think look really well together. I think that in itself sometimes feels really like a creative thing to do. Um, I'll show you the gray. It's a light gray, which is really nice. The set does come with a darker gray, but I really like the lighter gray. Did I already do this one? Oh yeah, 
kanssa simaan. And then this one, which always looks mint to me. Isn't that pretty? Such a pretty color. I hope you guys get to play with this one in person. So fun. This is very relaxing. I could just keep swatching all the markers for you. Yeah, so I've had a little bit of a rough week. A tree fell on our car. If you are hooked, connected to me on Instagram, you probably already know about that, but I'll insert some pictures here and then I don't know. You can laugh about it or send me sympathy messages. <laughs> Uh, we watched it happen. We were mere moments from being under there ourselves. Okay, I'm not even staying in the lines at this point, but you get the idea. So, so many different colors. I have a lot of fun picking them out. If you like markers, don't forget about these because I feel like they don't get as much love as they should for as awesome as they are. All right, so I don't know what else I want to tell you about. Oh, yeah, this is not an underappreciated thing, but it's something I wanted to share with you guys because I've had some people ask about where I, we got it made is our new Tokyo Pinch Up stamp that we have started stamping everything with just because it's so much fun. Um, <laughs> but we, so we sent our art to thestampmaker.com and for not much, I think it was like $30, they make you your stamp and it's it must be silicone that they use here. So it kind of looks like an old fashioned vintage stamp but it's one of those like new modern um, silicone ones. And we just ordered like a big giant stamp pad which I think you can refill. And yeah, we just started stamping everything. So if you're interested in custom stamp work, I would check out thestampmaker.com. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanna tell you. I feel like my life's been so rough lately because like the tree fell on our car and I quit coffee. So, and by that I mean I quit like all caffeine. So, Yes, I, I feel like I'm operating on like a slower plane than I normally do. I probably seem really low energy in these videos now. <laughs> but anyway, please leave your sympathy comments below and have a great week. Bye!